Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of MySQL, PHP, and Apache on Ubuntu version 20.04. Now, this will probably work for earlier versions and later versions of Ubuntu, but I don't want to waste any of your time talking about this stuff. Let's get right on into the tutorial here. Okay, so I have this Ubuntu server version 20.04 at this IP address and I have my terminal window open here and I'm SSH'd in. So the first thing you want to do, and this is always good practice, is to do an apt update. And this just goes out and looks at the mirrors and makes sure that we're looking at the latest version, the latest available versions of software that we can potentially download into our system. Um, so that was pretty quick. And after that, you usually want to do an apt upgrade. So we'll go ahead and do this. And this is gonna install 170 megabytes of additional um, packages, software, all that stuff. So we're gonna type Y and hit enter. And a lot of times through this video, I'm gonna, instead of just sitting here watching what's going on on the screen, you know, the installer just moving through, um, I'll pause the video and then I'll come back and resume when that finishes. All right, now that our packages are upgraded, let's go ahead and install our first piece of software, which we're gonna do Apache 2. So to do that, we'll type in apt install with two L's, Apache 2. Hit enter, and this will take up just about eight megabytes of space. And we're back about a minute later. Let's install the MySQL server. We can do that with apt install MySQL dash server, hit enter. And this one will take up 200, sorry, 248 megabytes of additional space. Type Y, hit enter, and we'll be right back. Okay, and now that we have MySQL installed, let's do a little bit of configuration here, and we can do that with the MySQL secure installation command uh, separated by underscores. So we'll go ahead and do that, and this will pretty much lock down our MySQL installation to have some basic security settings for it. So um, right here, it's saying that do you want to restrict the type of passwords, the complexity of the passwords? So I think that's a good idea, so type yes. What kind of strength do you want them to be? Low strength, medium strength, or strong? And then you can see here there's different levels of um, the complexity of the password. So I recommend to do uh, hit type two for strong. And that means you're gonna have to have numeric mixed case special, up, uh, special characters and not dictionary words like ball and tree, stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and type a password in here. All right, so I got a 50 out of 100, that's okay. I'll proceed with that. And now it's asking, do you wanna remove anonymous users? Yes. Disallow root login remotely? Yes. Remove test database? Yes. Reload privilege tables now, that'll refresh everything, hit yes. And now we're good with the MySQL installation. I'm gonna use my cheat sheet over here, and now we're gonna install the last piece of software here, which is PHP. We're gonna get PHP directly, um, the module for PHP for Apache, and the PHP module for MySQL as well. So type that in, hit enter, and you wanna continue, type Y and hit enter again, and we'll resume when this finishes. All right, we're back and we now have our three components of software installed. So let's check the version of PHP. So PHP-V and we got version 7.4.3 and then MySQL-V. Whoops. We want to do uh, MySQL dash dash version. And that one is version 8.0.21. And there you can see the version of Ubuntu as well. Um, so the next thing uh, basically that you have to know here, and this is just like an added bonus, you're actually done at this point. Uh, but if you want to know where your configuration files for your websites are for Apache, we want to go into the etc Apache 2 directory. And in here you have your sites available and sites enabled. So let's look in the sites available directory. And here you'll see the configuration, um, the default configuration. So for this, we have, um, not sure what, which one we're using, probably 00, zero default.conf. And here we can see that the document root for this is at var www.html. So let's go to that directory, var www.html. And in here, you'll see that we just have a plain old index file. So let's go ahead and come over here and copy this IP address, go to a web browser and paste that in. And we should see that default um, landing page here. Uh, so let's just prove that that's actually the case. If we go to edit this index file 
and this is all look like just CSS stuff up here. And here we go. Now we can see something that um, looks familiar. So the words, it works. Let's change that to hello world. Save the file, refresh the page back here, and you'll see that it now says hello world. So um, there's a lot more that you can do with this as far as um, applications that you can run on top of it. If you want to know how to do WordPress, check out this video here. And if you want to learn how to host multiple websites on Apache, check out this video down here. Guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, and if you do, I'll see you in the next video.